between the Midtown Meanies and the Dellsville Drudges. What a game! Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, 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 they're terrible. Oh, they are terrible. Oh, this team is the worst in years. What, you mean they're not good? Oh, no, 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 they're, they're, they're supposed to be bad. But now the Midtown Meanies, they are really bad. Oh, here they go again. That's it, he's got the ball. And he's running in the wrong direction! Terrific! Let's hear it for the meanies! Come on, meanies! Give me an M! Hi there. I, as you can see, am a mouse. Mouse begins with this letter, M. Now I'm going to show you something else that begins with M. Mud. Uh-oh. And we don't want to forget the most important word that begins with M, mother. Bye-bye. This is Martha. Marvelous Martha, her mother calls her, because Martha can print her own name. Well, she knows the first letter. M. Marvelous Martha. M-M-M. M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-M-
and he's, he's looking at television and two games, uh, yeah. the f teams, and it's hard to... Oh, whew. What a game! Worst game of the season! Cheating, dirty, playing, everything! I wouldn't have missed it for the world! <laughs> but, but, Oscar, I, uh, I don't hear any cheering now. Is the game all over? Uh, of course not! It's the half-time intermission! Oh... What happens then? What always happens at the halftime of a football game? The band plays! Naturally. Oh, look, look. He's on the field now! Who, who's on the field? The band. He? One for the fiddle. Two for the bow. Three for the trumpet. And four to blow. Five for the drum. Six for the stick, seven for the guitar, eight for the pick, nine for the piano, ten for the hand, hooray for the octopus, one man band. One for the fiddle, two for the bow, Three for the trumpet and four to blow. Five for the drum, six for the stick, seven for the guitar, eight for the pick, nine for the piano, ten for the hand. Hooray for the octopus, one man band. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Oh, that, that counting stuff, Bert. You know, that counting stuff reminds me of a great game I know. You want to play a little game? Oh, uh, no. Not another one of your meatball games, Ernie. No thanks. No, 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 no Bert. This is not a meatball game. I, yeah. I promise this is not a meatball game. No tricks? No tricks. No, no. All right. It goes like this. See, I say I won the sandbox. Yeah. And then you say I two the sandbox. Yeah. And then I say I three the sandbox. And so on and so forth. No, 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 like that. You want to play? That's stupid. No, no, it's not stupid. All right. Okay. Goes like this. I was walking down the street the other day, and I saw a sandbox. Uh. I won the sandbox. Mm. Now uh. you. Oh, now. Oh, mm -hmm. I two the sandbox. I three the sandbox. I four the sandbox. I five the sandbox. I six the sandbox. I seven the sandbox. I eight the sandbox. You ate the sandbox? <laughs> How'd it taste, Bert?
Well, you see, it's it's the annual Grouch Bowl game. Grouch yeah. Bowl. <laughs> and Oscar's cheering for the Midtown Meanies. That's a good team. Yeah, that's, that's a good team. Yeah, meanies. that's his big team this year. Uh, my team. Uh, What's happened to it? Uh, I don't know what came over them. What's the matter, Oscar? Is your team losing? Losing? No, they're winning. They're playing so <laughs> well now. I can't stand watching them. So, I decided to switch teams. Oh, Oscar, oh, you're not going to give up cheering for the Midtown Meanies, are you? That's right. I'll never again will I cheer for them. From now on, I'm cheering for the Dullsville Drudges. Dullsville Drudges. Yeah. Oh, the action's starting again. Hey, come on, Drudges. Drop that ball. Let, let's see you looking like the losers that you are. Come on. Uh, just put it right there, Dudley. Okay. Today, I would like to show you the letter D. Uh, now, this is the capital D, and uh, uh, where's the small D, Dudley? Uh, I ate it for dinner. Well, get me another one. Yeah, okay. There you go. Thanks. Uh, now, as Dudley suggested, the word dinner begins with a D. Dudley, mind your manners. Don't chew with your mouth open. Means salt. What's happening, man? I was about to ask you the same question. What's that? I don't know, but it sure is fat. It's the letter D. The what? The letter D. Oh. Like to hear a story about the letter D, boys? Do we have any choice? No. Late last week, a real old dog went out digging in a terrible fog, found some dice on a hollow log, and won a duck from a friendly frog. He walked along till he spotted a door, dropped his duck down on the floor, found a dime and bought a dinosaur. Dinosaur? So that's the letter D. Boy, it sure is fat. Do you know what else we learn, boys? No. If you dig a dinosaur, drop your duck for a dime. D, dog. Wow, wow. D. That's it. Pick, now get those candy wrappers in the end zone. Pick them up, pick them up. Candy wrappers? This is the weirdest game I've ever heard of. It can't be. For your information, the game is over. But what, what's all the shouting about? Oh, the then you know, the part of every game that the Grouches like the best is after it's over. Everybody after. stays and watches the Grouch Keepers Picking up the trash. Oh, look at that. A sweep to the left. Beautiful. Hey, watch it. Here come some soda bottles at the 10-yard line. He's got them. Well, pick them up. A football field is not the only place where you pick up trash. Uh, do, do you know what happens to trash after it's picked up? this banana peel. Throw it with the other garbage. Not in the box, that's for paper. I wonder what they do with the stuff we throw away. What about the garbage? Where's it go? Where's it go? What if you could follow it? Oh, so 
on the barge. The tugboat is pulling it way down the river. Look at that garbage. There it goes. There it goes. It goes to the country far from the city. The machines are putting it on big wagons. A few years after it's covered, it turns into good land where people can live. Just fixing an old broken chair here with some glue and... Oops, gotta go this way, I guess. Hammer it in, that ought to hold it. Hey, listen, while, uh, while this glue is setting, why don't we take a look at some of the things that I've been using out here, okay? Using this hammer, and a little glue, and some nails, and a brush. Hmm? Look at them carefully. Because three of these things belong together. Three of these things are kind of the same. But one of these things just doesn't belong here. And now it's time to play our game. Time to play our game. Now look carefully at all of these things, huh? Can you guess which thing just doesn't belong? By the time I finish my song, gonna finish my song now one of these things just doesn't belong here tell me did you guess which one well if you guessed that this thing doesn't belong here you're right ah uh, you're absolutely right and now my song is done hey very good yeah now I bet you guess that the brush doesn't belong here because all of these other things, the nails and the hammer and the glue, those are all things that you use to, to fix things or, or to build things, right? Use hammers and nails and glue. But the brush down here, that's, that's something you use to, to sweep with, to clean up messes. In fact, I was going to clean up the mess that I made after I fixed this chair with this brush right out here. You know, it's, it's important to... Uh, to clean up messes after you make them. You really ought to do it. Oh, it sounds like old Ernie's in the bathtub again. Hey, Bert! Bert! Can you bring me a bar of soap? Yeah, yeah. Just, just toss it into old Rosie here. What? The soap. Just, 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 just toss it into Rosie here. Who's Rosie? My bathtub. I call my bathtub Rosie. Ernie, why do you call your bathtub Rosie? What's that? I said, why do you call your bathtub Rosie? Because every time I take a bath, I leave a ring around Rosie.
Nine nails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine lights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine mice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine quarters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine coconut custard pies. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, boy, do I feel good. Hey, Bert, you ought to take a bath. It would cheer you up. Then you wouldn't be such a grouch. I don't need cheering up. I, I, I can tell you don't. Oh, but everybody in the world ought to take a bath. Then they'd be happy and, hey, you out there in TV land, everybody wash. <laughs> everybody wash your ears. Everybody wash your hands. Everybody wash your chest. Everybody wash your everything. That's right, keep washing, keep washing everybody. Hey, you know, washing is only one of the things that a mother animal does to take care of her young. Now, watch this mother mandrill and her baby, and you'll see exactly what I mean. I just got a letter from my mama. Oh, a letter from home. That's Isn't nice, that nice, Big Bird. Oh, it's always nice to get a letter from mama. Mm, Susan. I don't think so. Yes. Jim. Would you like to read it? Oh, oh. you're going to share your mail sure. with us. Oh, Look that's at nice. that. Mr. Big Bird right there. Yep, Sesame Street, me. USA. <laughs> What's she have to say? Oh, mm -hmm. let's see here. Dear son. Oh, that's right. She always called me son. <laughs> it was very good to get your airmail letter last week. Oh, yes. Uh, I, there was a pigeon flying towards their birdhouse, so I asked him to take the letter to oh. them, you see? And so that was air meal. <laughs> oh, that was a good idea. That's a good idea. Let's see. And to hear about how much you like living on Sesame Street. But we were looking at some old family photographs the other night and remembered what it was like when we lived together as a family. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, my father was such a hard-working bird. He worked hard to give us the things we needed for Is our nest. Is that right? Yes, and he taught me a lot of things that a young bird should learn. Oh, what, oh, what kind of things, Big Bird? Oh, you know, uh, to mind my manners and, mm -hmm. and learn to, to help around the house and do things like that. Oh, and my father good. was always doing things too, you know. When he wasn't off working, well, he would fix the house up and keep it ship shape. One time the bird bath sprung a leak and he patched it. Oh, oh, that's mm. very, very nice. He was nice. very handy around yeah. the house. What, what kind of things did your mother do, Big Bird? Oh, you know, um, she cooked and sewed, and, and she 
did nice things for us children. Hmm. She took care of us, and she had a regular job besides. Oh, really? she had a job too. Oh, yes, she had to work to make ends meet. Hmm. You know, and she worked stuffing feather pillows. Oh, that was very <laughs> ambitious. Good, good job yeah. for her. She wasn't home a lot, but when she was, she sure was good to us children. Oh, oh I'm sure she that's was. That's great. Let's see what, what else, else she has you have to say. Here? Uh, of course, you were about the best little bird any mother and father could have. Oh. <laughs> you did what you were told. You helped us both around the nest, and you learned your lessons like a young bird should. Yeah, good for you, big bird. Yeah, I bet you were good, big bird. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, uh, it was nice being part of a family. You know, I bet I know what a family really is. Really? A family is a... People living together, doing different things to help each other. And they all like each other a whole lot. That's, that's right. That's really true, yeah. Big Bird. You know, Big Bird, someday when you're all grown up, you'll have a family all of your own. Do you know yeah. that? Yeah. And I'll be the father bird, and my wife will be the mother, and my children will be all little birds like I was once. That's, that's right. I bet you'll have a good family. Big oh, bird. we're going to have a lot of fun being a Part of a family is great. It, it really is, Big Bird, and it's really fun. Like, you know, families are fun to watch, too. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Like this one. Watch. I'm going to read a story to the girls. Would you like to hear it? Oh, boy, I love stories. It's called I Have a Tree. Mm -hmm. We have a tree here on Sesame Street, too. Let's see. I have a tree. It is strong and tall as a giant. The branches are like big arms, and the leaves make shadows on the ground. <coughs> All through the springtime, I like my tree for thinking, and reading and being where no one can see me. It's my secret place. I have a tree, but really, it belongs to all of us. It belongs to my brother Mike, who likes it for a house, a hideaway, way up high, tree kind of house, where he has a club with his friends. Sometimes our tree belongs to Marie, who lives next door. She likes our tree for a swing a flyaway, soar up and down again swing, a just for one trapeze kind of swing. Marie is a circus queen. My best friend James likes our tree for hide and go seek. Home free all, anyone round my base is it. All through the summer, I like our tree for a pirate ship. Whiskers, my crew and I, Whiskers is my crew, and I'm the captain of the sea. See Whiskers is a little dog of me. Up with the sails, mate. Some hot afternoons, I watch my sister Patsy set a table in the shade. Patsy knows it's the best place of all for girls and for dolls and for pouring tea. Our tree has a hole in the trunk, a small hole, but deep and hidden from sight. Sometimes I tiptoe out after dark for a secret code letter, a baseball card, or a bag of marbles that James has left for me. I leave him a piece of bubble gum and a seashell. Our tree is a treasure chest. Then, in the fall, a storm shakes our tree. Winds roar around its branches and rain lashes its leaves. Will some branches blow away? Will they break to the ground? We run to the window to watch. Then we all smile. The storm is gone, and our tree is there, strong and safe. 
and millions of red and gold leaves make a bright carpet on the grass. We run through the leaves and kick them. We roll in them and jump in them and throw them in the air. My cousin Sam builds houses for birds. Singing birds, nesting birds, worm-hungry birds. He hangs these houses in our tree so the birds have a home when it rains and when it's very cold. That's nice of them to share their tree with the birds. One winter morning, snow falls, and there's our tree, catching the snow and holding it. We slide on the snow, and we run to our tree. And because it's there, we feel glad inside. As winter turns to spring again, I like our tree for a wishing place. Wish, wish, I'm going to wish. Not for a kitten, not for a fish. I'm going to wish there will always be a tree for us all. And then we can say, we have a tree. That's a great tree, too. Look, it's big enough for the whole community. <laughs> Did you like that story, Big Bird? I really liked that story. That was a nice, nice story. Hmm. Well, it's hmm. time for something else, though, now. It is? Lunchtime? No. Hmm, um, nap time? Nap time, no. Mm -hmm. Um, cookies and milk time. No, mm. it's silly song time. Hey, hey, you know what it's time for? Yes! 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 What's it time for? It's, it's silly, silly song time. time! That's right, it's silly song time. Ah. And today, our silly song is all about before and after. Before oh, and yeah, after. I like that. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Now, before we start singing, we have to clear our throats. So let's go. Let's do that. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. And before we start singing, we have to warm up. La, 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 all right, all right, all right, all right! Okay, now after we start singing, we're going to have a ball, so if you're all ready, let's go. Sing a song of before and after, sing a song and then sing some more. Sing a song and then try to tell me which comes after and which comes before. Oh boy, it's cold outside today. Now it's time to eat my cake. Mm -hmm. Only I wonder, should I take my hat and coat and mittens off before I sit down and eat the cake? Or after I sit down and eat the cake? I think I should take them off after I sit down and eat the cake. You should take off your coat and your cap and mittens before you sit down and eat the cake. Oh, thanks. Sing a song of before and after. Sing a song and then sing some more. Sing a song and then try to tell me which comes after and which comes before. Oh, boy! Now! I'm all ready to sit down and eat my piece of cake. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. What's this? There's a napkin beside my piece of cake. I wonder, should I put the napkin on before I sit down and eat the cake? Or after I sit down and eat the cake? I think I should put the napkin on after I sit down and eat the cake. You should put your napkin on before you sit down and eat the cake. Otherwise, you might get your clothes messy. Hey, thanks again. Sing a song of before and after. Sing a song and then sing some more. Sing a song and then try to tell me which comes after and which comes before. Oh boy, now I'm ready to eat my cake. Mm. Wait a minute. I wonder, should I open my mouth before I eat the cake? Or after I eat the cake?
Should I open my mouth before I eat the cake? Or after I eat the cake? You're on your own. Oh, I'm on my own. I gotta make the decision myself. Don't worry. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> I think I should open my mouth after I eat the cake. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Sing a song on before and after. Sing a song and then sing some more. Sing a song and then try to tell me which comes after and which comes before. about before and after, and I like seeing about the eight again. Did you? Mm. Well, let's see. Let's combine them. Uh, tell me what comes after the number eight, Big Bird. Um, after the number eight. Oh, that should be easy, Susan. Um, uh, don't give me any hints now. Okay, no hints. Well, let's see. Before, we have, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, that's all before eight. And then there's eight, and then, let's see, seven, eight. I have it right here on the tip of my beak. Let's see, seven comes for eight. But what comes after eight? I don't know. Do you know what comes after eight? Do you girls know? Yeah. Yes. Well, why don't you tell Big Bird? Nine. Nine. That's right. Huh. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. After eight comes... <sighs> I forgot again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Gordon. Gordon. Hi. I, uh, 
Oh, me, my, uh, my eyes, I lost my glasses and I can hardly see oh, anything. Oh, oh, you lost the glasses. You t you t look, t t take these uh, two bags. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Two bags. Yeah, I have to fill the orders and I'm sure I mixed the whole thing up. Oh, well, let's let's take a look. What was uh, supposed to be in this bag? Uh, uh, in this bag? Yeah. Food. Food? Those are mittens. Yeah. And that's not, you know, food. No, no, no. That, those are mittens. Yeah. Wear them on your yeah. hand. Yeah, yeah. Not food. No, no, no. You can't eat mittens. That's a toy fire truck. That's not food either. No. No, no, no. Fire truck, toy. Hmm. Let's see what else is Oh, Mr. Hooper, that's a sailboat. It's a toy sailboat. What I, uh, I saw but that's not, uh, that's I nothing to Swiss eat. Cheese. No, it's not Swiss cheese. It's a toy sailboat. Oh. Oh, boy, you're really having trouble with that. Your glasses, can't you can't really see, can you? No, no, oh, I can't. Mr. Hooper, we have to do... What's supposed to be in this bag? Uh, th things that you can write with. Things you can write with? Yes, 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 yes. A ball? Uh, I thought it was the ink well. No, it's not the ink well, it's a ball. Oh, oh, you can't write with oh. a ball. Ballpoint pen, but not a ball. That's a light bulb. Look at oh, it. That, that's thought, a light bulb. I thought it was for a stamp marker. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, that's a light bulb. Light you can't bulb. write with a light bulb. No, no. No, you can't write with a light bulb. Mr. Cooper, this, this is just too much. You know what those are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought they were colored fa uh, fountain no, pens. No, 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 no. These are lollipops. Uh, uh, lollipops. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Cooper. Gorgeous, gorgeous. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Uh, I figured... I, if, I figure the first thing, we're gonna have to help you find your glasses, you know, look for them. Yeah, where? Where? I've looked everywhere. All right, well, I'll tell you what, try to remember. Try to remember. Think and remember. Remember, Where remember. you were when you lost Remember. It. Remember, yeah, try to remember. At this moment, I can't even think of the alphabet. You can't? No. Really? Well, uh, maybe then you need, like, James Earl Jones to help you. A. B. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. T U V W X Y Z I I I combed the whole store from ceiling to floor from wall to wall trying to find the glasses but I can't it's just, I, 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 I don't know what to do. I'm sure, well, hey, listen, Mr. Hooper, yeah, don't worry. We'll all help you find the oh, glasses. Oh, that's good. Right? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Hooper, yes. what was the last thing that you did when you had thing, your glasses on? The last thing right. I did, yes. I, uh, ah, I, I, I put a bulb with a light fixture. Uh -huh. No, that, that wouldn't have done it because you would have been looking up, you know, right. and your glasses would have been coming right down on your face. You couldn't have lost them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I didn't do it. What else, Mr. Hooper? Well, I, uh, oh, yes, I rearranged the, uh, the items on these shelves. On the, sh the shelf? I, yeah, I, yeah. I don't think you could have lost them there either because, you know, you'd be looking straight ahead and I don't think they'd fall off so much no, that way. No, no, they wouldn't. No? Mr. Hooper, what yes. else? Anything looking Something, down? You know? Oh, 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 I dropped a couple of cartons of milk outside. I got my mop and a bucket. And mopping? I went out to, oh, and I mopped it up, mopping. yes. Where, where's the bucket, Mr. Outside. Hooper? Outside? Yeah. I bet they're in the bucket. Let's go look up. Oh, sure, I bet they fell right off in yeah, the bucket, Mr. Hooper. Let's, let's, oh, 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 watch easy, out. Mr. Hooper. Yeah. 
The bucket, right? Well, there's the bucket. Hit. Where? No, that's Son, hey, no, that's what happened? Mom, no mom, mom, M word. What happened to mom? Yes, but where's they have the bucket? Where's the bucket? The bucket was right here you know, with the mop. I saw the bucket now. right here. I left it right over here. Well, the we'll look for it. Let's You'll look for, for it. The yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find it for you, Mr. We'll find it. All right. Thank you. Thanks. I'm not. I know you. Let's see you later. Let's see you. A green piano? Hiya, little fella. One, two, three, four. Hey, Bob, how are you making out with those uh, oh. glasses? Have you Hi, found Gordon. them yet? Uh, no luck finding the glasses, no? but look what I did find. A nice letter E. Oh, that's eerie. <laughs> that's eerie, it's right. excellent, though. Yeah. You know where it probably came from? No. From Ernie. Ernie begins with Ernie e. starts with You know that? Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know, it's too bad that we're not on, a, uh, on an egg hunt instead of a glass hunt, because at least egg begins with the letter E, right? Well, that's true, but then on the other hand, we must be getting warm, because the word eyeglasses begins with the letter E. Oh. Egg. <laughs> Moo. E? This is the letter E. It's the first letter in the word elephant. And the word eat. Luckily, I have another one. The letter E is also the first letter of the word eagle. That wasn't very nice. And it's the first letter of the word, everybody. And the word, empty. And the word, egg.
listen, I'm going to take one last look over here for the bucket, okay? All right, okay. The bucket with the glasses in it that belong to Mr. Hooper. Right. Hey, Oscar. We're trying to find some glasses that belong to Mr. Hooper. I don't uh, know anything about them. Huh? Well, come on. Hey, Oscar, what are you doing? I'm fishing. Fishing? Hey, shh, not so loud. You'll scare away the fish. Oh, yeah? Well, you can't catch fish in a bucket. Hey, Oscar. Hey, look, uh, some people bucket. catch but, uh, fish Oscar. in the ocean, yeah. and some people catch them in a yeah, bucket. But, 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 oh, wait, but, hold on, but, but, hold on. Look, look, look I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bite. A bite? The net drags in the water. It ca catches all the fish. My brother steers the boat. It's hard work. When the net is full of fish, the machine drags it in. Lifts it up. The captain pulls it open. The fish spill out all over. Sharks that don't have any teeth get thrown back, thrown back in the water. But all the fish that we can eat put in the baskets. The men put the baskets into the hole it, that is down below, where there is ice that keeps the fish cold until we can get them to market. When I grow up, I, I want to be a fisherman like my daddy. I got him on the line. He isn't going to get away from me. Boy, oh boy, I'm going to show him who's master. I'm going to catch this fish, and I'm going to hang him up over the mantelpiece. Uh, oh, 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 he's starting to sound. He's diving for the bottom of the, of the bucket. Oh, I hope my 50-pound test line doesn't snap. Oh, uh oh, he got away. Okay, I think now's the time. I think his fish got away. He's Oscar's fishing in a bucket. No, I can't fishing explain. Fishing in a bucket. Fishing in a bucket. A bucket. Yeah, same one. I think that you lost your glasses in. So I ah. think we're gonna have to go over here, check it out. Now's the time. We'll get the glasses out of the bucket. Oh. We'll straighten Oscar everything out. Yeah, ball. come on. Here, just yeah. put your arm right Yeah, hold right on, on to Susan, okay. Mr. Hooper, because you can't see anything. Oh, okay. Oscar, 
Yeah, um, he's got to be a diplomat with this guy. Oscar, look, um, you know we're all looking for Mr. Hooper's glasses. So? Yeah, okay, that's so much for diplomacy. Now, look, they're in the bucket, we think. The bucket that you're fishing in. That's where he lost the glasses, and we think they're in that bucket. That would have been a pretty silly f thing for him to do. Well, listen, Oscar. Hey, wait, wait. I think I got another nibble down there. Oscar, just let me reach right here in the bucket for just a minute. No, no, no. You might scare my fish. No, Oscar, I wouldn't want just that. A minute. Wait a minute. I got him now. Let me just. Uh, uh, I'm going to tire him this time and wear him down until I can finally. Oscar, pull please. Him there we go. Look at look. Oscar, him. look. I told you they're Mr. Hoopy's glasses. Ah, oh, my that. glasses. Oh. <laughs> now you can see. I got my little glasses. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank you, Sus. Oh, oh, much better. Thank you, Gordon. <laughs> yeah, you're oh, welcome, Mr. Hooper. Now, it's a little no fishy. But I'll oh, work him out. You know, there's no telling what you'll find when you go fishing these days. Yes. Especially in a bucket, yeah. Oscar. Yes. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to fish some more. If people don't mind. Go ahead, Oscar. Knock yourself out. Get some hey. more fish. Hey. What do you got down there? Tuna? Got another fish. Yeah? Yeah, probably a tuna. Tuna? Or a marlin. Or a marlin. <laughs> Uh, he's not gonna get away this time. It's a shark! Uh, it's a, a shark! Really big one. Yeah, it's a shark! Get out of the bucket. While well, Oscar's doing a little shark fishing in there, uh, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. worry about it. You know, he's not really fishing. So, yeah, we're going. All right? See you later. Right fish tonight. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters D, E, and M, and by the numbers 8 and 9. I Have a Tree was written by Lily D. Chafin, pictures by Martha Alexander, published by David White, copyright 1969. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Public Television Network.